My uncle Donald lived most of his life in Kidderminster, and he died the night I moored here. Clearly he was a man of excellent taste. I've decided to bring Philly along on the final leg down to Starport. She is, after all, my most experienced officer. She feared it was because I wanted to have the opportunity to murder her. But in my experience, I've seen the best husband and wife crews. Well, the husband always works topside and the wife always takes a tiller. Women are better drivers and men should go topside. Real men should go topside and do the hard work. Narrow boating requires communication, teamwork and trust. Such values need re-establishing if our marriage is to survive. Besides which, I cannot give up so easily on someone I love. Right, now you see where Ella's moored? Yep. Right, and you see where the lock is? Uh, yep. Yeah, you see where the lock is. Right, so, you see how there's a nice big wide thing here. You're going to have to take the tiller and bring Ella into the lock. No. Oh, it's easy peasy, look at it. You know, you've well, got this... I'll do the lock. I'm going to do the lock, it's hard work. No, it's not. It's one of those where you push your bonnet. Well, take your tiller rope. It's easy, look at it. Just a nice big wide thing. You've got this huge channel bringing you in. Yeah. You take your tiller, I'll, I'll do the rope. Yeah. Oh, that's, that battles for ever one in bed. Let's go on tucking. It's been in the hold. Oh. Oh. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to Starport. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to Starport. And we're going to get to Starport today. Sort of. I'm going to dock proper on Monday. Oh, there's Jaff. Hello, little boy. Oh, I've got there's, there's some weed. You know, I've got weed for the voyage. And this is this is basically this is the last leg. This is this is the last leg of Ebba's voyage. Do you want to see the new coat I got in Starport? But I got this boat from um, Colin, who's the captain of the Marlin. Coat, I, not boat. Yeah, I helped him. I helped him through a lot, and he gave me this coat. Not bad, is it? It's alright. It's oh, like the other one you had. I know, but well, I might wear it. It's alright. Well, you can now, because you're not around... I'm not around Colin Para. Para paratroopers? No. So we're moored here. We're moored about here. Ow. Oh, darling, you're alright. Okay, well, we're, we're moored about here. We're moored about here. We go down here. Down here. The edge of Starport Basin. I'm just going to put the boat in forward. All right. Well, and I'm pretty worry. sure I'll know when Starport is the yeah, it's a no, basin, right? Don't worry, it's easy peasy. Mm. It's only it's three locks, four and a quarter miles. They're all diddy locks anyway. Diddy. All right, darling, I'm going to go ahead yeah. and I'm going to set the lock and then I'll come back, tie you off when the lock is set. You've got to drive her into the lock. Is that all right? Do my best. Good show. Good show. This feels insane. I don't know. It is insane. I am insane. 
There is method in my madness. All right, darling, the lock's set. Yeah. I'm going to cast you off. Be awfully kind, bring her into the lock, won't you? I'll uh, cast you off, yeah, you bring her in. Morales. Take it nice and slow. I asked How is morale? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Where was it? No, I didn't see that. Righto. Those that give, more shall be given. Alright. Well, let's just try and get to Starport, eh? Yep. You're in command now, love. Okay. Take good and slowly. I've still got to get those lock gates open, but, uh, yeah. hey? Give her a bit of throttle. Oh, I see you over the lock. No, no, I've got to. I've got to get that lock gate open. Just get her into the lock, darling, that's all. Yes, I'm, I'm using my narrowboat as a kind of... Uh, crude form of couples occupational therapy. I've left Philly in command. She may have broken my heart, but I hope she's not going to break my boat. Oh, good show. Philly seems to have everything under hand. Yeah, she should be all right. Hey, hey. Not, 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 not. How are you doing? Oh, you oh, fucking idiot. No problem. Don't worry, darling, you're doing all right. Oh, you don't need to choke, just don't worry, you're doing fine. Give her a blast in reverse, darling. Not too much. Just want to bring her to standstill. Good show, that's it. That'll do. It's good. Bring her into neutral, there you are. Start lowering her away. Yeah. Do you want to close the gates behind me? These? Yes. Where do I meet you? I'll uh, hover in the bridge hole and pick you up as soon as you close the, 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 the gates. Oh, I don't have to cross the, the road or anything? Uh, you'll have to cross the cut, walk under the road, and I'll pick you up under the bridge hole. Here I cross? Yeah, down there. So yeah. close the gates and then yeah. just go under there? Right yeah, that's fine. It's easy. It's Any boots? Yes, good idea. Have we got any bags? Yes. Boots and bags, darling. We don't boots have any and bags. Bags. Yeah, we've got loads of wrists, we've got loads of belts. Don't worry, we've got loads. 
Booze and bags. I do have a drink after that lot. That's the last of it. Don't worry, there's some more tins. Oh, have you got a fag for me? Oh, bless darling, you've got a cigarette for me. Thank you very much, thank you. I told you it's Kidderminster. The canals are pretty, pretty ropey. You know, yeah, darling, um, at the next bridge, I'm going to have to hop off and go ahead and set the next lock. You're going to have to take Tiller again, I'm afraid. Yeah, there's a to it. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Well, I told you, it's a very easy run. She says um, it'll be a spectacular something or other. Darling, you better take the tiller. This is where I've got to hop off. Once again, once again, I've left Philly on the tiller and I'm going ahead to set the next lock. I think she'll be all right. I think she'll be all right. Beautifully done. Mm. Cheers, Colin. Hello, world. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Glad I saw you again. Yeah. That chap, Colin, he's the man who gave me this jacket, the one yeah, I'm wearing. I really wanted a picture of his boat. But, oh. uh, I wish I could have got it. So, but that's a Hancock and Lane, his boat. Yeah. Anyway, darling, I want you to hop off a boat and come with me. There's something I've got to show you. Oh, wait until I get inside. Oh, you'll be all right.
over the bridge, darling. Santa's Grotto. This is how Mr. and Mrs. Caveman would have lived in prehistoric Worcestershire. And do you notice how this night was used for two? Yes. And it's enough off the ground. Ah, to stay warm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I think a big cat could jump that. A big easy. cat, yeah. It's, it's not that high, really, to be honest. You see, really, this is fascinating. You know, here we are, right next to the lot, and there's prehistoric history right here. Very nice. And there's one up there, that's probably for... Food. Yeah, pantry. You're out of here. No one wants to eat. Oh, Don, again, it lovely. This is proper Staffs and Worcester, this is. You have to put up with kids for five days. Hello, Wendy, on our way to Starport. Oh, yeah. I don't suppose you'd be a dear fellow and uh, close the gates and do the thing with the windlass. Yeah, Not with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you might as well just drop on and I'll lower you down, isn't it? Really? Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Come on, Philip. Thanks, Colin. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh, I'll see you soon. You take okay. care, matey. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks for the coat, by the way. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Oh. That's some fag, darling. That was a bit of a bumpy one. Okay. Cheerio. Oh, just open one. I mean, you never know what might happen. Golden, fruity and crispy. Oh. Do you remember this bridge, love? No. You not remember when we... Thing? No, uh, when we came across on the Lady of Legend last summer. Yeah, is that the one you said it's in the videos? Yeah, 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 that oh, one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, uh, I've always found that bridges are better seen from boats than they are from trains. Have some fag, darling. There you go. Darling, I'm going to have to hop off here. Yep. Go ahead and do the lock. You take the tiller. Okay. Grab the tiller. I'll see you ahead at the next lock. What's the matter? Why aren't we moving forward? Why aren't we moving forward? You've probably got a caught on the silt. Give her a blast of reverse. Yeah, give her some reverse and then put her into throttle. That's it, give her a bit of reverse. That's it. Right, now give her full throttle forward. Ready, gunner. Give her full throttle forward. That's it, full throttle forward. That's it, give her light hell. Truth be told, I'm not feeling terribly optimistic about this. 
Yeah, really give a full throttle, give a full throttle forward now. Really, full throttle. Come on. Really go for it. That's it. And keep a hard port. Hard starboard. Hard starboard. That's it. Really give a full throttle though. All right, darling, you're going to have to get on the roof. You're going to have to take the pole. You're going to have to pole her off. There's a pole on the roof. Get on the roof. You take the pole, you pole her off. But I'm the captain. I'm in command. It's my responsibility. It's on the roof. It's on your starboard side. Just uh, edge along. Mind, mind you don't fall in. Darling, well, get your weight behind it. Get your weight behind it. Now, darling, will you take the pole? Just sort of shove it along the solar panels. Don't try and carry it back along the gunnels. Just make sure you can reach it from the uh, from the bows, stern rather. Sorry. But yeah, well. That would work. Just, just try and shove her off. And get your weight behind it and try and shove her off. Do you want to get her off the silt? Oh God. Darling, will you give you a bit of a reverse, just so we can get the gates open? There we go, they're opening. Enough of a reverse. You can send her forward now, love. You've got to pick me up, so not too fast. Put me on, darling. Nose are in. Nose are in, put me on. Nose are in, nose are in. How? You stick the nose onto the towpath. Just stick the nose onto the towpath and I'll hop on. That's it. Terrific. My compliments, Lieutenant Cody, you've handled the ship beautifully. Look, we're in nice places now. Don't look so worried. Painkiller. Painkiller? Pain yes. I'd better take the tiller, hadn't I? Do 
Did I feed him before we left? No. No, you better feed Jack then. One pouch. Yeah, give him a pouch. Give him a full pouch. You know where, the, where Jack's food is. You know where it is in the hole, don't you? See what I mean about sheer cliffs? Sheer cliffs that side. And then nothing but marsh that side. Where's the beer? Hey? Beer. You open the other one. You yeah, of course I opened it. <laughs> of course I opened it. I was worried, I was worried there may be something coming the other way. Oh well, oh crikey, I better do this, better do this bridge and do it well, haven't I? Uh, that was bridge number nine. That means, so what? Well, it means that we're getting close to the starport. That's what it means. Uh, elaborate. Uh, well, we're only nine bridges away from starport, basically. Number nine. Yeah, we're not. We're not too far away. Oh, crikey! Made a bit of a hash at this turn. You said it's like a straight line. It is not a straight line. When I survey what we navigated, it's going to be like a big, massive game of snakes and ladders. Well, it's a Brindley Canal. Yeah. All Brindley Canals are a bit twisty. That's I don't mind it, but it is hard to do. Not you hard, but, you know, you've got to be on it. You should have done Briley Hill. I you don't like the sound of Briley Hill. <laughs> I've been there. I know it of old. Yeah, we're very definitely, we're coming up on the edge of Starport now, you can see. It's an old wharf there, so we're coming up to Starport now. We've just come into Starport. Different. It's different. Uh, I don't know if you have anything to make of it. Look, it's darling, it's beginning to rain. Mm. Uh, do you want to get in? I'm going to go under this bridge, yeah. and then the basin is just around the corner. Okay. And I'm basically going to moor up there. Okay. So I'm basically just going to go yeah, under this bridge. Yeah, two nights or whatever. Now, I don't think I should be in charge of either a boat or a camera. Do you think you could be in charge of a cigarette? That's the only thing. I'm going to moor up somewhere. I have got all this. This is all on film, so we're good. Well, yeah. keep, keep, keep getting it. I'm trying. How are you I'm, feeling? I'm, I'm just going to see if there's like a, a little Ella, an Ella This shape. is your new life. How are you feeling? Depressed. A little man. Yeah, that's why. Why do you think I'm being so depressed? I never shop at Lidl. Wow. I think I think this is going to test you. 
This is going to be a test of slower port. Well, I think it already has. Um, I want more a little further on from that. So I'm going to... I don't want to go too far because I... I, I yeah, I want to moor up before the basin. So I'm just going to hold on for a bit and get beyond this pub. But basically, once we're beyond this pub, that's when I've really got to moor up. And hopefully there'll be room. If not, I'll have to reverse and moor up in that corner there. Hey? I don't know what's ahead. I know what's near. So I'm going to move. Yeah, here. little and pound stretch. Yeah, well, I know what's ahead. <laughs> I'm here. Right next to the pub. Yeah, exactly. Right next to the pub. That's my thinking. Well, you'll know where to find me, won't you? Did you have Mad Goose as well, love? Yeah, well I asked for two halves of Miles. She said, oh, we don't, we don't do Miles. So I said, ah. Um, and then she pointed up to like HPA and Goose. Ludlow was on there as well. Right. You know the Ludlow one? It's quite, it's all right. I think I've had Ludlow before. It's quite, I think it's like 5.4. Mm, Cleavery so Mortimer beer. Cleavery. Yeah, that's right. Cleavery uh, beer. Cleavery so beer. I, I remembered Mad Goose. So I won't be well, well done. I think it's a bit off though. I think it's a bit off. What is the ale? Yeah, the mad goose it tastes a little bitter. You're a connoisseur. Tastes a little bitter to me. <laughs> he even loves though, it. He even loves it. He's a dude, isn't he? A dude. He's a dude. That's why everyone wants to take pictures. You're with him, obviously. <laughs> What's your name? You got proper fucking camera as well. Yeah. Well, do you do you mind being on the camera? I don't give a fuck. Oh great. Have What's you seen my Instagram? What's your name, please? Simon. Hello, Simon. You're not doing videos. This yeah. is Ted. Hello, Ted. And I'm Philomena. Philomena. Yes. Great name. Thank you very much. You're together, obviously. Yes. Yes, I'm just more. You look something out of a TV programme, you think. <laughs> you do, you look like. You what, just murdered someone and buried him in the garden. Rugrats. <laughs> no, do you know why I say that? I've, I've just moved my boat down here, you I've see. I've just watched. What's it called? Sisters on Netflix. That's like television. I don't have a telly on for us. That really figures. <laughs> I don't have a telly on. What are you doing videoing? He likes to do, put them on YouTube and he videos his boats. Yeah, I make films about my life on the boat we see. Have you got a boat? Can yeah. I have a boat? Yeah, yeah I'm, more just, uh, I'm more just down there. I'm more just down there. You ain't though, are you? No, I am, yeah. You are, you got to pop a boat. Yeah. I'll show it to you, come on. Hold on a minute. Oh, do you? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. schooling in Yorkshire. I'm born and bred in York. I've lived down here for 30 odd years. I went to Bretton Hall. Did you video in on a fucking, fucking camera? No, no, no. 
I went to Bretton Hall. I went to Bretton Hall. I'm a Bretton Hall boy. Yeah. I watch watching Dave. I'm a writer. Stand to all neath rain and sun, the listers thumping like a drum.